a lovely long line of pristine new Volvo V70 cross countries and I'm in Denmark to test drive them and this is my car. First stop is a very peculiar thing, it's a bridge that isn't open to the public yet and hasn't finished being constructed. What's so special about that? I'm going to go find out. Here I am driving along a lovely bridge in the sunshine, but this is no ordinary bridge. This is the first ever bridge between two countries, those countries being Denmark and Sweden, and it's a pretty long bridge, 16 kilometers long. In fact, it's the biggest ever erection that the Danes and the Swedes have managed. <laughs> and in construction, of course. And, you know, Volvo have managed to secure us a test drive across this bridge before it's even due to be open on the 1st of July. Not bad, eh? The Orison Bridge will ease traffic congestion and allow easy travel between Denmark and Sweden. Oh, and it's been built without any damage to the surrounding environment. Good, eh? Here in Sweden at Nudgestarp, we've just had a very nice lunch stop. And now, seriously, it's time to try the V70's capabilities on an off-road course that Volvo have especially set up for us. Let's give it a go. I am driving a car that you'd normally take all the kids in through a really big pit of water. And it's fine so fine. Normally when I'm on their roads like this, it's in the uh, co-driving seat of a rally car and it's going Rah! really, really loud and you can't hear yourself think. Going round this wood off-road track in this Volvo, listen, I can't hear a blooming thing. The engine is so quiet. It's amazing. The thing I don't like about it, I think, is that I don't know whether you can see, but I'm having to kind of like sort of peer over the bonnet. If you were sat in a normal kind of 4x4, like a Discovery or a Cherokee, you've got a much higher driving position and you can see the road ahead of you much more. With this, you slap really quite low and I find it a little bit disconcerting that I can't quite see when I'm driving, driving over this kind of terrain. Traction control, get up this hill. Here we go, yay! Is it gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? You know we're gonna do it. Fantastic, that is brilliant. The V70 is a solid drive on the road, as you would imagine from a car like this, but surprisingly, when you're going around the corners, it's ever so light. The steering is light and it tends to wallow a bit. In fact, it oversteers slightly when you're on a road like this. And when I first got in the car, it was ever so slightly unnerving. Yeah, it feels solid, but it's all a bit wibbly wobbly on the top. I was speaking to one of the guys from Volvo earlier on, and he said that they've had to kind of compromise on the stability of the car when it goes around the corners to get it right when it's off road. And I agree with him there. <sighs> I'm in the middle of Sweden and I'm lost. Where is it, bastard? Oh, there it is. So that's how you spell it. Right, I know where I'm going now. They've got funny names here. The cross country offers great flexibility. Not only does it offer the comfort of a luxury saloon and the safety of a standard V70 estate, but has substantially improved all road abilities, which are previously only possible in an SUV. Ah, oh, it's nice here, isn't it? This is Tolokov and it's just down the road from Bastard. And boy, was I glad to get out of that place. It's full of a right bunch of Swedes. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, the shape of the car hasn't changed much. It's a bit wider, a bit further off the ground, and it's got these lovely, well, all right, brown bumpers. Volvo tell me that they've developed these so that when you're off-road, the car doesn't scratch as much as the colour-coordinated bumpers. Anyway, look, I can't stop long. I'm on my way to Smegham now. Sounds a nice place, doesn't it? wonder what they do there. 
The new Volvo Cross Country starts at just under 29k on the road and it's based on the same platform as the V70 Estate. The ground clearance is 20.9 centimetres. Who'd have thought it? That is one millimetre more than the Cherokee and one millimetre less than the Discovery. And who'd have guessed it? Those few millimetres making all the difference. And us girls should know. <laughs> Safety, always a Volvo strong point, is unrivalled in the cross country with dual stage airbags, SIPs, side impact protection systems, whips, whiplash protection systems and the IC, which is an inflatable curtain, which is all provided as standard. What a fantastic day and I've arrived now in Tylersand, Sweden. And look, there's the beach and life is a beach, so I'm going to go and lie on it.